Thinker's Philosophy, Chamber 4 Beliefs and their energy systems All beliefs have energy systems that act like birthing rooms for the manifestation of the belief. Within these energy systems are currents that direct your life experience. You are aware of these currents either consciously or subconsciously and you allow them to carry you into the realm of experience that best exemplifies your true belief system. Belief systems resonate with and are the byproduct of the dominant energy system of a sympathetic group, culture and even species. Thus, energy systems are more fundamental than beliefs and create experience that creates beliefs. Energy systems are wide ranging in their context, but as they relate to beliefs, they can be defined as primordial thought forms crystallized within the human DNA. Some would refer to these fundamental energy systems as instinctual knowledge. Within each entity is the genetic compound of its ancestry moving across innumerable generations and species and in the vastness of galactic time, this genetic compound accumulates energy systems that pertain to how one survives in the three-dimensional universe. Thus, survival is the dominant energy system of the human entity which informs its genetic code and triggers its life experience and beliefs. Survival is the focal point of conformity. When an entity believes so deeply in survival, it is near impossible to break from the conformity that survival requires. And so, the human species, rooted in an energy system of survival, has become a conformist to the dictates of its genetic predispositions and instincts. And its experience reflects this, conditioning its belief system to follow. Life circumstances do not differentiate nor insulate an entity from this pervasive reality. Thus, the equation for three-dimensionally based species, survival-based energy system plus galactic time equal to conformist life experience equal to belief system. What this means is that survival as the core energy system of the species will beget over long periods of time a life experience that produces conformity to the requirements of survival. Consequently, belief systems are largely a byproduct of the genetically based instinct to conform in order to survive. The cycle of conformity entrains energy systems of individuals and groups and it casts belief systems that obey the energy system just as surely as a shadow conforms to the general shape of an object. Within the boundaries of the survival-based energy system are transition zones that permit a recasting of one's belief system in accordance with cosmological multidimensional energy systems. Think of these transition zones as isolated portals of energy that intersect the dominant energy system of the human species, not unlike energy vortexes intersecting space. The energy system that permeates Terra Earth creating predictable belief systems of conformity will be energetically transformed to enable more accessible transition zones. How one accesses these portals or transition zones and utilizes their enabling energy system will be the real issue of your 21st century. Think of these transition zones as portals that lead one out of the prevailing energy system of survival and conformity of the mind-body into a new energy system that is of the mind-soul. The mind-soul energy system is characterized by creative energy directed to realizing 
that the wholeness navigator is the personality that endures and is therefore the creator of enduring beliefs and life experience. When this realization is achieved by accessing one of these transition zones or portals, the entity can begin to restructure their belief system independent of time and the predominant notion of survival. There are two kinds of transition zones, tributary zones and the grand portal. The tributary zones fluctuate over time and are generally found in the high culture of a robust civilization, notably the art movements that are grounded in spiritual principles, sacred mythology and cosmic context. Art of this nature, whether it is music, painting, poetry, drama or dance can be constructed into a tributary zone that transitions entities to discover the grand portal. The grand portal is the prime achievement that awaits humanity in the last quarter of the 21st century. It will be the irrefutable discovery of the human soul by authoritative science. This grand portal will usher in a new awareness for humanity that will enable it to shift from a survival-based mind-body energy system to an exploratory-based mind-soul energy system. This exploratory energy system will manifest the belief system of the sovereign integral, the golden age long prophesied. The wingmakers, working in conjunction with the existing hierarchy, have created or inspired, inspired the tributary zones throughout human history. Each of these tributary zones emerges on the timeline of humanity, not as religious or philosophical movements, but as artistic expressions of refined beauty and spiritual adoration. As time draws nearer for the discovery of the grand portal, these artistic expressions will become increasingly multidimensional, integrated and, like directional beacons, guide the way to the grand portal's discovery. This is the way of enlightenment for the human species. The wingmakers created the initial tributary zones in accelerated non-physical dimensions as outposts of creative energy linked to the higher circuits of first source. And these act as guideposts that gently steer humankind's finest representatives of the arts and culture to create tributary zones that are physically based, which in turn guide humankind's finest representatives of the sciences to ultimately discover and prove the existence of the wholeness navigator. In so doing, humanity is forever changed from a survival-based energy system to an explorer-based energy system. This is the event that will change the life experience of humanity more profoundly than any other event of the 21st century. 11,000 years of civilization will culminate in this event and it will occur through art and science. Religion will be a factor as well, but only a subsidiary factor. When this discovery is made, religion will have no choice but to honor it and adopt the far-reaching implications. Religion will fear it will be displaced by science, and it will know only one course of action, integrate with the new science that combines technology psychology, metaphysics, and cosmology. Tributary zones will become the new religion of the 22nd century. They will become the touchstone for accessing the new energy coming into the planet as a result of the grand portal's discovery. In this time, the new structure of the hierarchy will, like a glove turned outside in, finally fit the human hand. This will herald the return of the masters who have remained behind this wheel of secrecy because of the survival-based interests of religion, business, government and science. However, these institutions 
will be reformatted and those masters who hold the vital information as to how the individual may use the grand portal to explore themselves and the universe will be revered and finally appreciated by humanity at large. By the dawning of the 22nd century, the grand portal will be ubiquitous in human culture and acknowledged in all classrooms of learning. The discovery of the grand portal is a carefully orchestrated event string consisting of innumerable components. The reason this event has been and continues to be so carefully orchestrated is that it will galvanize the genetic mind of the human species to explore the multiverse and not simply Terra Earth or its solar system. It is the single event that establishes humankind on the sovereign integral network and shifts the energy system of the human species from which all manifestations arise. When a species in the three-dimensional universe discovers irrefutable scientific proof of the multiverse and the innermost topology of the wholeness navigator, it impacts on every aspect of the species. It is the most profound shift of consciousness that can be foretold and it is this event that triggers the return of the masters to explicit influence and exoteric roles. There are many practical applications for restructuring one's own energy and belief system and they require in most cases an active immersion into a tributary zone. This means to interact with the tributary zone on a deeply personal level, translating its meaning through in-depth consideration for its personal messages. Each tributary zone is designed like a house of mirrors. Until one steps inside, there is no image to reflect, no personal content to convey. The most common way of accessing a non-physical tributary zone is through meditation or the dream state. While in these altered states of consciousness, the entity can begin to shift and restructure their energy system by accessing these tributary zones. Typically, this is done under the guidance of a select member of the hierarchy who is a master of energy system transfer. The purpose is to guide an entity to become less dependent on the survival energy system complex that invites conformity and a life experience therein. These entities are invited to participate in this process in order to activate their sense of creative power and authority to manifest in the three-dimensional universe a deeper and more penetrating channel into the mysterious realm of the wholeness navigator. Entities are selected based on their accumulated desire to assist in the event string of the grand portal. As previously cited, the wingmakers created tributary zones in the accelerated dimensions whereby entities could access them in the dream state or in some instances through meditation. Exposure to these tributary zones, even though seldom remembered, enabled these entities to transfer a likeness of the non-physical tributary zone to the three-dimensional world of Terra Earth. These initial physical creations dealt with spiritual values and were often the product of poetry, art, music and drama. In the dawning of the 21st century, they will combine art, spiritual values, technology and science and they will become tributary zones of greater import because they will prefigure the grand portal and in this prefiguring they create the framework of discovery upon Terra Earth. These physical tributary zones will catalyze the entities born of the 21st century in ways that the non-physical tributary zones cannot. Specifically, they will cause a resonance at a sub-molecular level through music and art that will reconfigure the four-dimensional protein patterns of the human brain 
and nervous system. In so doing, the nervous system will receive and transmit higher energy circuits that enable a very subtle mutation in the region of the brain where intuition or the sixth sense resides. There is a sixth sense in which the brain becomes an organ of the genetic mind instead of the physical body of an individual entity. This is a state of consciousness separate from the sovereign integral because it is not sustainable. It is only glimpsed for brief moments, but in these brief passages of time, the genetic mind can transfer ideas, insights and innovations that make possible the discovery of the grand portal. There is a repository of knowledge that was seeded within the genetic mind nearly 11,000 years ago by the wingmakers. This knowledge is the blueprint for the discovery of the wholeness navigator. The human hierarchy has drawn close to this holy grail through the efforts of its finest representatives. We, the wingmakers, have included everything for your successful attainment. No detail has been left out or overlooked. We have undertaken this process of energy system transfer on countless life-bearing planets within the grand universe and your finest representatives will succeed. However, the grand portal is not easily comprehensible. It will require an educated humanity in the fields of cosmology, technology and science. It is for this reason that medical technologies in the field of genetics and neural mapping will proceed in the 21st century to enable a new spatial intelligence to anyone who desires it. While this medical technology may seem to some as an artificial and therefore unwelcome technology, it will be required for much of the human race in order to comprehend the grand portal and it should not be feared. This technology will accelerate a portion of the brain center that is responsible for spatial multidimensional constructs and highly abstract thought processes. In the average human mind, it will permit the grand portal's energy system to be comprehensible and therefore believed as a scientific principle as factual as the force of gravity. The energy system of the tributary zones that prefigure the grand portal will be translated from the wingmakers to your finest representatives in the dawning of the 21st century. These tributary zones will manifest in the three-dimensional world of Terra Earth but will actually stem from a non-physical dimension known only to the wingmakers and first source. In a sense, these tributary zones are echoes of a reality from your future, bearing down on you as an energy field that makes possible the quantum leap required of your species to allow the wholeness navigator to fully embody humanhood. It is reasonably true to state that if humankind in your time believed it was a collective vehicle of first source, endowed with its exploratory virtuosity, it would instantly recognize itself as the wingmakers. It is also true in the same sense that the wingmakers would not exist if we were not successful in making visible the grand portal to humankind. Through our existence, human, humanity is assured of its future. When all the calamities of Terra Earth are forecast and your doom as a species is spelled out in the certainty of cataclysm and war, the event that will redeem you in, is in the discovery, acceptance and application of the grand portal. This new energy system can be brought into your personal realm when you believe I am a fragment of first source imbued with its capabilities. You are engaging this energy system inherent within the feeling of connectedness. You are pulling into your reality a sense of connection to your source and all the attributes therein. The belief is inseparable from you because its energy system is assimilated within your own energy system and is woven into your spirit like a thread of light. 
These threads, however, must be manifold or they will break and your energy system will remain in the shadows of survival and conformity. As you gain awareness of the tributary zones, you will gain insight into the new energy systems and how to anchor these energy systems into your own. There are specialized techniques for weaving this energy system to your own and exchanging over time your survival based energy system for the exploratory energy system of the coming age. These techniques provide a means to weld survival and exploratory energy systems as though one were creating a footbridge that enabled them to cross the chasm separating the two energy fields. These techniques are divided into three categories mind-body movement techniques, mind-soul comprehension techniques, emotion-soul acquisition techniques.